Okay, now I'm going to tell on myself. Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. And sometimes the best way to get a point across is to tell your business. So I'm going to tell my business. I'm going to talk about me. Now, when I was unsaved and I was emotionally needy, needy, needy. Yeah. Listen to this. If a guy, this is an example of of why God says to cease from man whose breath is in his nostrils. Okay. In Isaiah chapter 2, 22. This is what happened years ago. Years ago. When I was young and dumb and needy. Yeah. I would change my whole day to accommodate some guy. If a guy said, oh, you know, let's go do so-and-so. I might have had plans for the whole day. I might have had a whole itinerary. I'd throw that thing out in a heartbeat. Why? Because I thought it would make him happy and it would make him like me. Mm-hmm. Why? Because I was needy. I was desperate. I was hard up. I was pathetic. Yeah. Now, had I been the normal, healthy type of an individual with a balanced sense of value, of self-value and self-worth, I probably would have said, well, let's try another day because I already got plans for today. And then my mindset would be, and if you have a problem with that, you will get over it. Or... It's over because I don't have time to waste. So it doesn't mean you're being cold. It means you place more value on yourself than on someone else. I mean, you barely know this guy. He wants you to do this, that, or the other with him. But that means you've got to lay aside the things you had planned to take care of for yourself. So if you had to pay bills, you didn't pay the bill. If you had to put gas in your car, you didn't put gas in your car. If you needed to make a deposit, you didn't make, if your parents needed you, you didn't do, you weren't there for the ones that were always there for you because you're trying to be there for somebody that doesn't even barely know how to spell your name. That's another form of being a people pleaser. I remember a woman told me this years ago. She said she had a boyfriend. And she said the boyfriend, she had dark hair and she wore studs for earrings. And the guy talked about how much he loved redheads. He thought redheaded women just looked so, so flamingly hot. And he loved when they wore those dangling earrings. It just did something to his spine. Woo! So what does dum diddy dum dum do? She wants to please. She's desperate. She wants to win his approval. And she goes to the hair salon and gets her hair dyed red. She turns around and stops wearing studs, which is what she liked to wear, and started wearing dangling earrings, which is what he verbalized liking. Now, this woman said that after a while she changed so many things based on things he said was so cool when he saw it in a woman. She basically lost her identity. So one day he told her, he says, you know, I think we need to end this, you know, thing that we have because you're not the woman I started dating. I don't know who you are anymore. I mean, he basically dropped her like a hot potato. And she said from that day on, she learned a lesson. You don't bend yourself into a pretzel shape to please anybody. Because people are fickle. One day they like brown hair. The next day they like blonde. The next day they want red. The next day they want jet black. One day they want it long, the next day they want it short. One, I mean, ah, oh, people are fickle. Don't waste your energy trying to please people. Please. 
Do yourself that favor. Love yourself. Value yourself enough not to waste your energy. Definitely not to waste your money. Lesson learned. I hope you learn it before it costs you. Hmm.